Peace to my seers, y'all. <clears throat> so earlier today, I'm going to tell you what's been ringing in my room all day. So come into my life and you can see that we are more than thugs, more than thugs, more than thugs. But just a little twist of harmony with smoking lethal warriors. War. That song like literally be ringing in my head all day. And then I kept hearing, go back for what? Y'all know that song turns out for what? I kept hearing, go back for what? Turn back for what? Okay. So I'm going to tell y'all, I came here to clarify that energy because it's, you know, it's been on me. Like on me, on me. All right. And I'm um, using my deck, of course, the Natural Seas deck, Talking Tarot. And the first thing that came out was the Five of Pentacles. And I feel like that Five of Pentacles, it came out in reverse. It came out sideways. I don't usually read sideways cards, but in some instances, I will. I feel like there are people questioning their value, their self-worth. Okay. There's people that's questioning themselves. All right. Um, I feel like a lot of my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energies are struggling. And I feel like that because I've been getting a lot of that energy weighing on me all year about different energies, different, different, you know, um, at different certain times, at certain times, y'all know the moon is in Virgo right now. So, um, some of my Virgos could be dealing with some of my earth signs could be dealing with some, some eerie feelings about themselves, but I feel like a lot of y'all are coming out of that. Okay. So a lot of my, my earth signs are, they're coming out of that. You know, um, but I feel like my Aries Leo Sagittarius is, are, are really going through stuff right now. And the problem is because they're they're resisting change. OK. All right. So let me continue to clarify this energy. So for the ancestors, that's what we're calling in a quantum energy. So I'm not collecting why this energy has been over me for the day. Allow me to deliver this message very clear to those that need to hear it. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, with this Eight of Pentacles energy, I feel like a lot of my, um, the people whom this, this message concern, I feel like this is about uh, change. I feel like this is all about change, accepting change. A lot of y'all are still carrying a lot of burdens from the past and you're trying to work out things from your past. And it's not getting you anywhere with this five of pentacles coming out sideways. You got the eight of pentacles upright, right? So I feel like with this with this energy, some of y'all may be trying to work out things from y'all past and it's burdening you. It's weighing on you and it's weighing on you to the point to what's causing you to question yourself, your own self-worth. All right, these are the days of our lives. Some of y'all are starting to accept this, this, you know, this energy, this, this heavy energy that's weighing on y'all. And what it's doing is it's causing you, you take you, you, you're, you're carrying a weight that it's time for you to release. If you look at this Two of Pentacles energy, right? It's not a traditional Two of Pentacles uh, energy. It's more of a, a, a heavy weight. Uh, which we know that the two of pentacles can represent a lot of responsibilities. But I feel like right now this responsibility is responsibility of the responsibility of letting go burdens you don't have to carry. Then you have the five of wands. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you are struggling with um, change. This is what I see in this. You're struggling with change. You're struggling from trying to be think think of things in a traditional way. Because pentacles can also be about thinking. So I feel like with this two of pentacles, the the problem with this is some of you are trying to hold on to traditional tradition and, and, and you're not changing with the times. You're not making changes. You're not moving as what you could as the will of fortune. A lot of y'all are going through karmic cycles. So you're questioning yourself and you're accepting it because you think that this is just what it is. Two of Wands. And I feel like with this Two of Wands, a lot of you, y'all are making decisions on in blurred lines. Um, uh, I, I heard you. I'd rather drink muddy water, muddy water. A lot of y'all, let me tell you something. You're not going to, you're not going to touch the mud and not get dirty. All right. You're going to have to clean your water. A lot of y'all really are drinking muddy water. And this is why you're going through this energy right here. And then you have the King of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody, you know, um, 
and, and, and based off of the energy in this in this in this in this spread in this deck, I feel like some of you guys are intoxicated with the thought of being loved, with the thought of being in love. Some of y'all are in love with love. You know what I'm saying? And and that's and unfortunately that's toxic. Because you're not in love with a reality. You're in love with the way you want things to be. This is what's causing this burden. Some of y'all are weighing on yourselves and y'all starting to accept what is instead of moving forward and making the proper changes and the necessary changes that need to be made. All right. And then on the bottom of the deck, you got Queen B. And so I feel like sometimes people can see themselves, you know, in a way that they deserve. They feel like you, you feel like you deserve certain things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's something that's causing you burden emotionally and it's causing you not to move forward and causing delays and causing you to feel and question your worth, then you really not step. You're not stepping in your queen bee energy. You understand what I'm saying? You can have this energy, but if you ain't walking in it, then what's the point? See, a lot of y'all ain't walking in y'all queen bee energy or y'all king, y'all king energy. You some of y'all so worried about a ring. You forgot all about the crown. And this is my don't ring me, crown me. All right. This is my don't ring me, crown me energy right here. All right. This queen right here is like, listen, if you can't respect my mind, if you can't respect my 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 my, my energy, if you can't respect my power, my independence, then why we why we talking? You understand what I'm saying? And some of y'all sitting around here waiting on somebody to come through and give you a ring or give you love or give you something. But the problem is. You've been waiting for a long time with this two of wands here in this will of fortune. You've been waiting too long. And now it's starting to cause you conflict and you questioning yourself. This could even start to look like some of y'all could be going into some sort of depression or deep depression. Because the king of cups is known to be somebody that hides their feelings. All right. But in this deck, I feel like um, that 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 energy can be causing uh, an emotional imbalance. You ever heard a person say that, you know, it's not good to drink when you're sad. It's not good to drink when you're upset. This is why I love this fucking deck right here. Okay? Because some of y'all um, are not in y'all clear mind. You're, you're, you're thinking with blurred lines. Because you think that, that waiting around on somebody to do something and, and, and not living your life or trying to keep constantly work on something that you seeing a little bit of progress here and no progress there. This isn't. This came out sideways. And when, I, when, when energies come out to me sideways... They're supposed to be in reverse. So I feel like what this is really saying is that it's time for y'all to let that shit go. All right. Some of y'all are questioning yourselves, questioning y'all worth. Like, what's wrong with me? I'm doing everything I can to work on this. And that's the problem. You're doing everything excuse me, you can to work on it. You're doing everything you can to work on it. And it's causing, and, and, and it's causing a toxic cycle. All right. I'm sorry, y'all, but I am thirsty and I need a water. All right, so give me a chance. So I feel like these are the days of our lives. And some of y'all are just accepting this. Like, damn, this is just my life, I guess. This, this, this. You know how people be like, story of my life. This is what I feel like some of y'all are doing. And you're being told to know. This is the story of your life because you're writing it that way. It's the story of your life because you're narrating it that way. It's the story of your life because you're manifesting it that way with this two of pentacles and this eight of pentacles. You're creating that story. Two and the eight of pentacles. That's the ten of that's the ten of pentacles. So if your home life is incomplete and you're not getting what you want as far as that sufficiency or as far as that solid commitment and that, that security that you want from whatever you're waiting on, which is look like to me a relationship. That's because that's what you're accepting. You're carrying that burden and you're allowing it because you keep putting your energy into a situation that's not that's half giving you what you want and half keeping you half waiting, keeping you waiting. And a lot of y'all are running out of time and running out of patience with that. It's time to let it go, because if you keep holding on to this burden, eventually your back is going to give out. Eventually your back is going to give out and you know what that means. You're going to succumb to something and whatever you succumb to is not going to be in your benefit. All right. Clarify the five of pentacles and look at that. Whoever y'all waiting on is promising you um, some BS. 
Because you have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So if you're waiting on somebody to give you a commitment and they haven't fully committed, that's because they still want to hang out and see other people and do what they want to do. And they are doing that. So if it looks like you're trying to pull close to somebody and every time you feel like you halfway getting it, we almost there like the Jeffersons. You moving on up. Moving on up. And all of a sudden they start pulling away. This is why. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Because they're still dealing with other people. Five of Wands. They're still dealing with other, other people. Other men, other women. And they don't, they're not, they want to be able to come to you and let me tell you something. What people don't understand is sometimes you don't have to tell people what you want. They can kind of see that in your actions. Because a person that want a commitment, then you're going to, you're going to treat that person like, you know, you're going to give them what you want in return. So a lot of times people be like, well, I'm not pressuring them and I'm not saying nothing. You don't have to. You don't have to. Because it's your actions that's letting them know. And some people play on that. When they know you want that, they're going to give that to you only just, uh, they're going to give you just enough. Just enough. And that's this five of pentacles in reverse. Just enough. Just enough. But that just enough ain't good enough. Because you know what it is? Those are small things you're learning. You've learned to accept because you think it means something. It don't mean nothing to them. This is coming out with the five of pentacles. And it's saying to you, see now what they're doing is they're not really giving you anything. You're under the illusion that they're giving you something. You're under the illusion that you're going to get this crown. Okay? You're under the illusion that they're treating you like a queen. When really what they're doing is giving you just what they want. Giving you just enough to keep you at bay. So you can't go nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? They want you right there at bay. So when they through running the streets, playing these games, they can come on back to you, get a home-cooked meal. Okay? Get them a glass of wine, shot of vodka. I get their feet rubbed, get their feet massaged, all that. Have them some stability with this Eight of Pentacles and this Wheel of Fortune. Because some of y'all could definitely have y'all stability, you know, in perspective. So, yeah. And you sitting around here waiting on this person to come through and finally open up and give you what they want. And the truth is, you're not going to get it. Like Invoke say, now you're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. All these emotions. Okay, all these emotions and these emotions, let's see what's on the bottom. Look at that. For somebody that's going to continue to run the streets and play single and do what they want to do. This person is never going to commit. And sometimes the sad thing about these situations is you some of these people are very will be good perspective mates. If that's what they wanted, but that ain't what they want. They want to do what they want to do. They want to be free. They don't want to commit to nobody. This is this five of wands energy. They want to be able to blend in with whoever they deal with. You understand what I'm saying? If this person over here, if all they want to do is get high and smoke weed all day, then that's what they want to do. If this person over here want to go to London and Paris and, and eat caviar and, 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 and gourmet crackers, that's what they want to do. If this person over here, you know, want to be at home, have a good... With the traditional relationship, that's what they, they're going to conform to anything that the person they want to deal with want to do. All right. So this person is not somebody that's going to settle down and just be for you. They're going to be for the streets with this Bible wants energy and anybody they're around. They're going to conform to their standards to keep what they want, but they're never going to fully commit. <clears throat> this is not somebody to want to put in. All right. Um, Y'all remember that movie Baps um, when. When um, Halle Berry was like, I don't have to just accept this, this hood stuff. Okay? And that's why I keep hearing these are the days of my life. Look into my eyes and you can see that we are more than thugs. You understand what I'm saying? You want somebody that's going to look at you and see more than what, what's, what's out here. Because there's more to a lot of y'all. Y'all, a lot of y'all got a lot to give. Y'all got the Wheel of Fortune out here with the Queen Bee. And the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen, I mean, and the King of Cups. So a lot of y'all, then here go the Ace of Cups on the top of the deck. So a lot of y'all got a lot to give, a lot to offer. But instead of you moving on and letting go of this heavy responsibility of waiting on somebody with this Two of Wands energy, trying to carry carry a responsibility of waiting on somebody when they're until they're ready. Let me tell you something. 
any job you got, right? They don't wait on you to get there before the job start. Just because they need employees, you know what's going to happen if you don't get there one time. And you late too many times, your ass going to get fired from that job. And they're going to hire somebody else who want that job. That's going to get there on time every day and do that job very proficiently. And they're going to be happy with that paycheck. You understand what I'm saying? So for y'all that's sitting around waiting on somebody to come and love you, let me tell you something. If they're not clocking in doing what they're supposed to do in a timely manner and you don't fire them, then that's on you. This is why you're questioning your worth. This is why you question. No company does that. No company sits around and wait on somebody to punch in the clock on their time. If your ass ain't there at 830 every rising and you late too many times and you got all these excuses why you can't show up, guess what? Oh, um, you know, it was nice having you, but we won't be needing your services anymore. You know why? Because they ain't already hired somebody else before they find your ass at night. Okay? How many how many people y'all know do stuff like that? Can't keep a job because they 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 time ain't they, they're there, they have a prompt problem. So at the end of the day, if y'all sitting around waiting on somebody. I hate to say it this way, but you the damn fool. And you the fool because you're going to be a waiting ass. They ain't never going to get you what you want because you done already accepted the minimum, which is this five of pentacles energy. You've already accepted the minimum. So they know all they got to do is buy you some pumpkin seeds because they know that's your favorite thing to eat. Oh, he bought me pumpkin seeds. Really, bitch? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, he paid my cable bill. Oh, uh, he just spent the, nah, about two weeks in, in in six two weeks and six months in this motherfucker. Don't you think that he probably should be putting in something? You think that that's supposed to be some type of brownie point, Mitch? Cause he, come on now, stop accepting the minimum thinking that it's oh, ain't nobody never clipped my toenails, ain't nobody never greased my scalp, oh, ain't nobody never did this. Come on now, your self worth is at stake. This is why a lot of y'all are accepting that. All right, you don't have to accept it. They're the these are the days of your life because you haven't accepted that it's more to you than what it is the next person can see. You're basing your value based off of how somebody else is treating you. Why is this five of wands energy here? Give me clarity. I power the universe to get some energy and the messages. But you have the healing card, the grounding card. Look at this. This person has no stability, they're not grounded whatsoever. They're not grounded financially. They're not grounded mentally. They're not grounded emotionally. They're not grounded spiritually. And for some, they could be going through a spiritual awakening. But right now, y'all ain't on the same page with this Bible of Wands energy. This person may need time to go through what they need to go through. But you don't know. One thing I, I was just telling somebody about my healing journey. People don't realize the power of solitary because everybody worried about being alone. But once you learn how to master being by yourself, you become an untouchable ass person. That's where your superpower is. And the power and the ability to thrive in your own cocoon. Because when your ass is, 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 is conceived, you in that womb by yourself for nine months. And if any child come out of that womb before they, the, their time, it's going to be some defects and deficiencies. And a lot of times, that hospital is going to keep your child there and you're going to go home. And that child is going to be in an incubator. It's still going to have to be concealed until it's ready and fully formed enough to come out. You understand what I'm saying? And so some of y'all be trying to get in these relationships with people that's still in relationships when y'all get with them. Let these motherfuckers heal. Because if you're expecting to get anything out of that, only thing you're going to get out of that is drama, competition, and chaos. And a broken heart, and a broken soul, and a questioning of your own worth. Because that motherfucker is going to breadcrumb the shit out of you, whether it's a man or a woman. Most people, that when they're not ready, they're not ready. They're going to come to you in the Seven of Swords energy line, being half-hearted with this Knight of Wands energy, not really ready to put both feet in and really give you what you want. And you're wasting your whole time. You're wasting your whole time on somebody that's still after other um, people. Dating other people whenever they want to. Still talking to other people. They're not ready. They're simply not ready. All right? These are the days of our lives. These are the days of our lives. Now look into my eyes and you can see that we are more than thugs, more than thugs, more than thugs. 
with just a little twist of harmony will smoke beneath the warrior. Yes, warrior. You understand? Why is this eight of pentacles here? You better know your own power. You better know your own power when a lot of y'all don't. Because you haven't taken out the time. Look at that. The eight of pentacles with the eight of eight of um the knight of cups, the devil, Capricorn energy, and the five of pentacles upright again. So a lot of y'all have a problem um looking for love. And looking for your and looking for your see some of y'all working too hard to be seen as the one. This is what I get out of this. Some of y'all working way too hard to be seen as the one. This eight of pentacles is coming out with the knight of cups, the devil, and the five of pentacles. For some of y'all, whoever y'all waiting on, they're telling you whatever you want to hear. Because they 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 love what you do for them. And this is a toxic connection because it's not gonna go anywhere. This person comes in for sex, temptation, for greed. Okay, and they know they got control over the situation because they know that you're willing to put in the work. They know you're willing to put in the work. They know that you really do want to be loved and they plan on that. But this five of pentacles is here. They only going to get so close to you and then they're going to break away and ghost you and leave you hanging. All right. And then they'll, they'll be back again when they're ready for that feel all over again. This is a narcissist that y'all are dealing with. All right. Male or female. It's a narcissist. Okay. It's a narcissist. So don't believe what Ren say. Because you're going out like Kuta Kente. But I got a whip for you, Toby. It used to be my homie. Now you act like you don't know me. It's that five of pentacles energy. They get what they want. They come to you. Stick around for certain amounts of time. And then they gone again. I right? used to be my homie. Now you act like you don't know me. All right. But you're trying so hard to prove your worth. Now look into my eyes. And you can see that we are more than thugs. More than thugs. More than thugs. With just a little twist of harmony, with smoke. it don't matter what you do for this person, they're not going to commit. You ain't getting that commitment. It's time for you to drop the mic with Mocha. Drop the mic, okay? And I keep hearing, turn back for what? Quit taking this person back. Because every time they come back around, you let them come back. And then you wonder why you questioning your worth. I probably would be questioning my worth too. Because at some point, you got to ask yourself, turn back for what? Turn back for what? I'm not even getting nowhere. This 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 load is becoming heavier and heavier on my heart with this two of pentacles energy. And I'm not even getting, I can't get a ring. I can't get a crown. All I'm getting is a bunch of talk, a bunch of gibberish. All right. And this king of cups energy is somebody that's definitely um being very emotionally manipulative. All right. Filling your head up with a bunch of wine. Filling your head up with a good time. Filling your head up, you know, because they know you're 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 emotionally vulnerable. Okay? Emotionally vulnerable. And they're playing on that. All right. Why is this will of fortune here? Sacred ancestors. What's the energy and the messages of the will of fortune? Wow, this is a lot of stuff going on. Okay, this is way much too much. Never too much. You got to will of fortune out here again. Okay, so this person just living a double life. They got two different relationships going on. All right. Two different relationships. You have the will of fortune out here twice with the magician, the moon, the strength, the page of pentacles and the five of cups. This person wants their cake and eat it too. But the problem is uh, when every they keep abandoning you to go back to this other relationship. All right. They keep abandoning you to go back to this other relationship. And this is looking like this could be something from the past. I feel like this is something from the past because this moon energy is here. All right. And the strength is here. So this is somebody that they could have broke up with. Somebody that they may still be trying to tie loose ends with. This is what I feel. I keep hearing um, Nights of Pleasure. What is that song by um, Loose Ends? Can't you see Nights of Pleasure? All right. So they come to you for Nights of Pleasure. But they're not over this past person. So they see a good thing with you, but they still stuck in that past energy. All right. So it's something that they're getting out of both situations. Some sort of stability or in something, something financial from this other situation. And it could just be um, that they both they having a cake and they eating it, too. All right. Because they're not promising a commitment on either end. On either end, this could be somebody from their past. This page of pentacles here, this could be somebody younger than them too. Somebody that they deal with when they want to. Alright? And just like they do you. Tell me why this two of 
Pentacles is here. What is the energy and the messages of the Two of Pentacles for this energy? You know, you 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 the writer. You the writer. Ain't can't nobody add nothing to your story that you don't allow them to add. All right, you allowing somebody else to come in and add to your story. And, and then you wonder why your life is like it is. Two of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Again, because this person is juggling. Okay? Living two lives. I could have did what you did to me to you a few times. You, but if I did decide to slide, find a, eh, eh, you would have been pissed. But that's not my MO. I'm not the type of chick. And karma for you going to go. Don't be who you end up with. You make me sick. All right? This person is juggling. They juggling. All right? And bottom line. And you're questioning your worth trying to carry all this responsibility of trying to be the good, the good, the good one. The good, the good lover. You wasting your damn time trying to prove yourself to who? To what? Of somebody who ain't even... They don't, they, they're not even taking to heart the type of person you are because even though they may stick around because the, the way you love them, the way you treat them, they know you're a good person. It's not stopping them from doing what they want to do, though. They don't want the responsibility of a commitment. That's what this full energy is. They want to be able to move and go and come when they feel like it. They want to come lay up with you, be committed when they feel like it half in or try to make you think that you about to get a commitment or start doing things to wheel you in and as soon as you get comfortable thinking everything is everything then bada boom bada bing bada boom ba boom you can run the streets with your thugs i'll be waiting for you until you get through i'll be waiting all right that's your energy you're gonna sit there and keep waiting and they know you're gonna do it they know you are a fool for them. And they're playing on it. It's King of Cups energy. Clarify the two of wands. Energy and the messages. What is the energy and the messages of the two of wands? What is the energy and the messages of the two of wands? The two of wands is the star, okay? I, I definitely feel like this person, um, they don't want to be in a commitment. Just that simple. They feel like you're desperate for a commitment with this star energy here and this two of wands. That you're always going to be waiting for them with open arms because you're desperate for a commitment. All right. And this is this devil energy is out here twice. This is what this person is seeing. Whether that's how you feel or not, this is what they're seeing and this is how they're feeling. You're desperate for something. You're desperate for commitment. You're desperate for love. You're desperate for... You know, you want to feel secure, some sort of security with this um, star energy right here. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of women think that just because they wait on a man, that that means a man going to always come back to them. Yes, because he know you a goddamn fool. That's why he's going to do that. Because he knows that you're going to always be vulnerable and wait for him to do that. You understand what I'm saying? But if you display some sort of confidence within yourself, okay, then that's the only time that person is going to start looking back at you like, wait a minute, who is this? This ain't to say, no, I'm not going to know. Because we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. You don't punch your ass in up in here when you're supposed to in a timely manner. And you late too many times, I'm going to fire your ass. You're fired, motherfucker. You're fired. Fire that out. Don't ring me, crown me. Because when you anybody can put a ring on your finger, but when somebody can crown you, that means they respect you for who you are and what you have to offer. They respect what you've been through. They've come in and they're not trying to put you through that again. They're trying to make you the one because you're demanding it. You're demanding of it. Your energy demands that. Period. That's that queen bee energy. And some of y'all got that, but you ain't walking in it. You ain't walking in it. You win this old Miss Molly made ass energy. Oh, baby, are you coming over tonight? I'll cook for you. And you want to go around and play around with these, these nobodies because you waiting on something you ain't going to get from this person. You're being called to release that now. This, this, this star energy with the two of wands. Quit waiting on it. It's time to release that shit. Tell me why this queen, queen B energy, energy and the messages, queen B. Energy and messages of queen B. Okay. So you have the fool, yep. The Knight of Pentacles, you've held on to this for too long. You held on to it for too long. Knight of, of uh, I mean, the King of Swords, the Emperor, all right, and the Six of Cups. It's time to release your past. It's time to release your past and find, and find your inner strength. It's time to do that. It's time for you to accept that you are more than what you think you are. 
I now look into my eyes and you can see that we are more than thugs, more than thugs, more than thugs. With just a little twist of harmony, we smoke a little warriors, warrior. It's time for you to look inside of yourself and see that you're more than what you are. You don't deserve a ring. You deserve a fucking crown in this bitch. You ain't a wife. You a pharaoh. What you thought? Y'all better know. Y'all better recognize. Y'all better wake up and start looking in that mirror and doing mirror magic. And seeing yourself like this. If you don't see this, if you see a man getting on one knee, you better take your ass back to bed, wake back up, wash your face, take that bath, and, 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 and get your afro sheen, spray your shit, pick it out one more motherfucking time and look back in that mirror. You deserve a crown. You don't deserve no man to get on one knee. You deserve him to stand over you and protect you and respect you because that's what this Queen Bee energy is all about. Okay? Look at this good. Look at this real good. You understand what I'm saying? A god to a goddess. Period. A man that's going to put you first. A man that's going to recognize you over all the other females and understand that you stand out and you are different. This ain't no, like no other queen in the deck. And I put her in here on. I put this energy here on purpose. Because I need people to understand that. Listen. There's, there's, there's more to this than just being just a queen. You got to stand out and you got to be different from all the motherfucking queens. All right. Because at the end of the day, you a pharaoh. You a pharaoh. You a empress. You a pharaoh. All right. And they say that, 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 the, the, that, the, that the empress embodies all the queens. But Queen B, she's a pharaoh. You understand what I'm saying? She, she, she builds empires. She does all of that. She's definitely almost equivalent to, she's pretty much equivalent to, to, to the Empress, except the Empress want to take care of everybody. And Queen B is like, I'm about to take care of my damn self first. Queen B is more about self-preservation. Okay, and the Emperor and the Empress is about caring and nurturing everybody. Queen B is like, let me care and nurture for myself. I done took care of everybody, now let me focus on me. Okay, so Queen B could be a, a little more self-reserved than the Empress, right? Tell me um, uh, why the King of Cups is here. All right. And so, yeah, so some of y'all are being um, called to come up out of that Empress energy and get in your Queen Bee energy. Okay. Be a little bit more about your damn self. Quit being so damn nurturing, especially to somebody, people who don't deserve it. Vice versa, if it's a man, same shit. All right. King of Cups, energy and the messages of the King of Cups. Quit being so damn giving and thinking you're supposed to take care of everybody else and ain't nobody giving you shit. Or they have, they have hard of doing it. Got one that have hearted breadcrumbing, you know, doing the minimal. And you sitting up there giving your all and then sitting up there now you all emotionally bankrupt. Where they do that at? We ain't doing that. Turn back for what? We ain't doing that. All right? These are the days of your life, but now these days of your life going to change because what you're going to do is you're going to take that pen and you're going to rewrite that motherfucker with this, with this king, um, this king of swords energy. You have the power and the penmanship to rewrite your life. Okay, you don't get to let nobody else dictate how they treat you. You dictate how they treat you by how you treat yourself. All right? And people think it's something wrong. with it. And all you hear is, oh, these women, we tired of these women being masculine. Well, guess what? If, 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 if we didn't need, feel the need to have to step up and protect ourselves, and, you know, we were dealing with men who were protecting us, we wouldn't have the need to feel like we need to be in our emperor and king of swords energy. All right. And, and I get so sick of hearing that shit. But just because you love yourself and, and, and men take that shit and be offended like you too independent. No, motherfucker, I love myself. I just love myself and I'm not accepting nothing less than this. Just say that you ain't the motherfucking one that can 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 wear the shoes I need a motherfucker to wear. OK, because I'm not I don't, I don't want no ring. I want my crown. I don't fuck about a ring because people get rings every day and them rings don't mean a motherfucking thing. But if you crown me. That means that you've seen the glory and the God in yourself. And now you see the God, the goddess and the glory in me. This is a power couple right here. This is how you create power couples. I don't need a motherfucker that's going to come in and give me uh, $50 on an investment when it needs 2000 I need a motherfucker that can give me his half and we both go half on this motherfucking shit. Okay, go half on a baby, and I'm not talking about the one you push out your womb. I'm talking about the one you build, that empire. That's what I'm talking about. 
You understand what I'm saying? But ain't nobody got time for that. It's time for you to walk away to whom, whoever I'm talking to from whatever commitment you've been waiting on, yet you're never going to get it because this person is running back and forth to an ex or somebody from their childhood or their past that they still deal with off and on when they feel like it. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. Why is the King of Cups here? Energy and the messages of the King of Cups. What's the energy in the message? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or some of y'all can have that in y'all chart. Okay? Or some of y'all can be dealing with an Aries. Uh, not an Aries. Um, some of y'all could. Oh, well, y'all could be dealing with an Aries since I said it. And some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. All right? Tell me why. Or that energy is definitely out here. Because it's a lot of damn, you know, self-talk that you're telling yourself. This is mental. All right? You're telling yourself for foul things about yourself. Why is the King of Cups here? Energy and the messages of the King of Cups. Yeah, it's time for you all to rewrite the story of your life. You have the hair upon the nine of cups. So, yes, um, I feel like with this energy, with this King of Cups energy, this person does have feelings for whoever some of y'all are. But they're going through an awakening they got damn self. So they need to find a, figure out how to channel their own damn emotions right now. They're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Okay. And there, there could still be feelings for a, a, a past lover or somebody else that they were in a commitment and they're not ready to open up and fully give themselves to you. So this person could definitely have feelings for you and, and may see you as somebody for in a potential relationship. But again, they ain't ready to get, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. They ain't ready because they still on that, that beeswax. All right. They still on that bullshit, that bullshit, that bullshit. They on that bullshit, that bullshit, that bullshit. They ain't ready yet. So now what you going to do? What you going to do though? What you going to do with yourself? That's the question. We ain't worried about them because people going to do what people going to do. What you going to do? What you going to do? You got some choices to make. All right. What you going to do? Tell me why this double energy is here and I'm out. Y'all, I made it. So I threw a reading and it ain't an hour. What? Okay, listen. The, you have the Ace of Pentacles to clarify this double energy on the top of the deck. Okay, so this person is definitely promising some shit. And they lying. They talking you to death. They talking you to death with this Eight of Wands energy. So they're definitely, they're telling, they're telling you and probably another person. Of, um, about uh, acting like they want to be settled down. They want to be committed. But I feel like this person is talking that shit. Because they just want to make sure they have their ducks in a row. And they want some stability. So if it don't work over here. They still got that over there. Alright. This person is being half hearted and deliberate. This is that double energy right here. Alright. This is what I'm clarifying. So yeah. This person still got a hold on some toxic ways. Alright. They want to make sure they're always financially st stable. So they're offering commitment somewhere else. This person could have been married or they could be married. Okay. And if they are or if they were or they still is, they're, 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 they're playing, they're straddling the fence. That's what they're doing. This is why they're not ready to fall through with you yet. So some of y'all that's tired of waiting, you know what to do. It is what it is. If you need a personal reading, y'all know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. If my messages resonate with y'all, don't forget to check out all the other readings on my channel. Um, also, I'm going to post a link to my current deck that's available, my love breakup messages. And um, I'll be posting a link to my very own tarot deck, the Natural C is Talking Tarot deck. Um, as soon as I get my link ready, it'll be available. You guys can purchase these, this deck if you would like to. Uh, I also will be posting a link to my book, 10 Ways to Insanity, and my last book of Life Without Lies, okay? I have another book out that I did back in seven, uh, 2017, but I'm going to redo that book. It's called Girls Have Daddy Issues, Boys Have Mommy Issues. Do not try to purchase that book. It's not up under my account, okay? I went through a publisher last time, and I'll never do that again. I now publish my own stuff, okay? Um. Anyway... If you uh, need a personal reading, the information will be in the link below. And if you would like to support my channel, that information will also be in the link below. But um, outside of that, you'll also also the link to my podcast, Drop the Micro Mocha, which is on Anchor as well as other platforms will be there if y'all just like to listen to podcasts. Okay. So anyway, on that note, um, y'all know what to do. If you need a personal, holla at your girl. If it's major. 
hit me on my page. On that note, she out. Peace.